Hello planners and transport nerds, and before we jump into the rest of today's video, which looks at the shuttle buses replacing the out-of-service city ferry, I would like to let you know a little bit of what else is happening on this channel. So next week I'm doing a big project called Bus Week, which looks at the most popular public transport mode in Queensland. But after that, there's something important to note. I'm getting awfully close to another milestone for this channel, which is 50 episodes which I'm pretty stoked to be at that point. So for that 50th episode, I'd like to throw out the opportunity to all of you to start asking some questions about this journey, why I started YouTube, what I've been doing with my life, why I chose to get into planning, and I'd love to answer a bunch of those in that episode. So if you would like to participate, leave your comments below. I'll do some other question shout outs on my other social media platforms. And if you've got questions, get them to me by the end of September, and that way I can prepare a really nice 50th episode Q&A video for all of you to enjoy. So let's go now and have a look at those shuttle buses. This is Talking Planning. Hello, and welcome back to Talking Planning. I'm just waiting outside Riverside Centre on Eagle Street to jump on a 27 shuttle over to Kangaroo Point. This is the short-term replacement strategy whilst waiting for the City Hopper Ferries to re-enter service, and it's a free bus, and hopefully it should be here in just a couple of minutes. So, they're running every 20 minutes, so I'm keen to check it out. It's only a short ride, and keen to take you along for the journey. That bus isn't it, so whilst we're waiting, have a look at this quick montage until the 27 arrives, which took longer than I first thought it would. Now that we're on board, let's look at the route that we'll be taking today. As we are heading outbound, it's pretty simple. You do a loop around, continue back up Eagle Street, then you head through into the Ivory Street Tunnel, across the bridge, and do a series of funny turns until you stop at Baldon Street, next to the Story Bridge Hotel. It should take about seven or eight minutes, so join me for the rest of the ride. You've quite probably noticed by now that I am the only passenger on this service, and yes, that's quite true. It is a shuttle, so many of the passengers that would once take the City Hopper are now just jumping on board a City Cat to Holman Street instead, as they've allowed the City Cats to stop at Holman Street from Riverside, which replaces one of the key journeys often undertaken by the Hopper Ferries. So let's cue the music montage now.
So now that we're off the Bradfield Highway, aka the Story Bridge, let's head down and go through all the twisty turny bits and make our way to the Story Bridge Hotel where this bus finishes. Whilst we're on the way, have a quick listen to the sound of this Sherwood special Volvo B7. The only thing I'm a little disappointed about with this service is that Brisbane Transport didn't get creative with the destination sign. I love seeing those ones that's like, choo choo, I'm a boat. And this would have made that shuttle really distinctive and more interesting for passengers to catch. was a review of the 27 shuttle service and whilst it was cool to get those views for free on a bus unfortunately I don't think it's given the fact that I was the only person on board for that journey other than our lovely driver I think people are definitely hanging out for those ferries to come back and to be fair so am I because it just doesn't quite replace everything but I'm very glad that they're running that shuttle in the short term just to make sure people can get from the from the CBD over to Kangaroo Point a little bit more easily. So thanks for joining me and see you again next time.